the Marin and Daffodils Festival is set for the end of April, but those daffodils are not waiting until <laughs> April 28th to bloom. They came to life well in advance of the 43rd annual festival. Yeah, that's right. Channel 3 meteorologist Jill Gilardi is live at Harvard Park in Meriden with more on how the flowers are doing out there. Hi, Jill. <laughs> Hi, yeah, I mean, it's beautiful out here. Whether or not you have some still in bloom or others that have kind of passed their prime, okay? So, yeah, it's a big draw to the park, but there's going to be more reasons to visit Hobbit Park in Meriden this weekend and especially next weekend. If only the festival happened a few weeks ago when the daffodils were in full bloom and blanketing the landscape. If you were like Carlene, who visits the park often, you may have seen them at their peak. Actually, they were beautiful, but usually, they came out early, yeah. early. But this place is really gorgeous with the daffodils. There are still a few clusters in bloom, but many are dry and past their prime, and Mother Nature is to blame. As you better than anyone know, it was not our typical New England winter, and with the uh, warm earth, the daffodils decided that they were going to show up a little earlier than normal and enjoy our beautiful park, and they bloomed quite nicely, very early. A fun time will be had despite the lackluster daffodil display. This Saturday, the largest tag sale in the state happens, which will be under this large tent you see. Showers on Sunday and maybe a thunderstorm may temporarily cause the carnival rides to close. Next weekend for the festival, there will be over 50 craft vendors, live music, delicious food, carnival rides, and again, will operate weather permitting. And next weekend, there will be a shuttle, a free shuttle provided. Again, the festival is free. Uh, they do recommend definitely bring cash. They'll have an ATM here, but they don't accept credit cards. And bring that blanket with you. You might want to sit and enjoy some live music. But for more information on the event, we have a link on our Channel 3 app. So you definitely go there for more information. But for now, we're reporting live in Meriden at Hubbard Park. I'm meteorologist Jill Gilardi, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.